That's very kind. Thank you very much. Hi. Um, I'm a big fan, by the way. Um, my question to you is something that's a little bit more of a philosophical history. So oftentimes I've heard you say on YouTube, for example, that the, the reason that the whole hypothesis that God created the universe is a non-starter because God would have to be more um, complex than the universe is. Um, I would just like to know what your I, um, objection would be to someone such as like medieval um, theologian like Thomas Aquinas who would say that God's actually something very simple but powerful so that that might be another alternative. I'm, I'm an atheist, so I don't buy something like that. But I'd just like to understand your objection to a claim like that. It is an utterly preposterous idea that the God who not only creates the universe, which you'd think would be something you'd need to have a fairly good knowledge of physics and mathematics um, in order to do, not only does that, but listens to the prayers of every one of six billion people simultaneously, such bandwidth, <laughs> forgives their sins, knows when they're thinking evil thoughts, worries about their sexual proclivities. How could anybody seriously suggest that such a being who's capable of doing all the things that are attributed to him could possibly be simple? If God is simple, this is really what I was saying right at the beginning when I said, if you want to make God equal to energy or Planck's constant, that's fine. Make him simple, make him the bare minimum that you need in the way of physical constants, let's say, in order to get the universe going. If that's what God means to you, that's fine. But then you're totally wasting your time praying to him, <laughs> sucking up to him, <laughs> asking forgiveness from him, expecting him to make you survive your own death. You cannot have it both ways. Either God is simple, in which case he's not worth worshipping, or he's complex, in which case he doesn't exist. LAUGHTER